Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of the city of New Lancaster, an East Coast Canadian themed city where uh, I guess it's, it's the biggest city on the East Coast of Canada. Um, right now we're kind of heading into the city from the outside. We're going by uh, Umber, I think it is. Um, I hope you liked the last episode where we built the concerts or some of the elements of the concerts DLC. Uh, we need to do some more to the city in order to unlock some of the other stuff, but uh, we're taking the, uh, the highway all the way across the city because we haven't done one of these driving um, intros in a while, and I thought it'd be pretty neat. I'm uh, going by the dirty part of the city there. There's a lot of smokestacks. Um, and in this episode, uh, we're going to kind of go back. Oh, mighty traffic. Oh, no. I'm going to have to try to fix that. Oh, it's moving. Okay. That's good to see. Um, in this episode, we're going to kind of go back to the same area that we were working on last time. Oh, I wonder what the holdup was. Uh, and we're going to add uh, some factories um, out that way. And we're going to kind of try to grow the rest of the, the area out there. All right, let's hop out. Oh, there we go. So we ended up over here in the city. And we started out all the way over here. So we hit quite the view. Um, so here we are at Alexander Keith's Amphitheater, um, and uh, if you notice, it's a little bit different than last time, and that's that's right. I was fooling around with some stuff, and I realized it'd be really cool to get kind of get like this ticket booth in here um, to kind of make it seem like this is where you pay for, to get into the concert area, and then you go and you can park your car, you've already paid. Um, but I wanted to kind of have this area open because I want to make this like some leisure some bars and stuff because I think it'd be really cool to kind of get like like a baseball diamond here or something or uh, some type of sports uh, arena or stadium out this way because we're already kind of doing some leisure stuff we're already gonna get big transportation out this way so why not just make it more of that right so uh, yeah with uh, uh, oh also I kind of uh, edited this pathway a bit uh, I thought it'd be pretty cool if it stayed elevated um, but uh, I wanted to make it so this road can continue this way. So this is kind of just like a nature walk. I'm not going to try to level up the park too, too much. Um, but maybe once the city starts going around it, we'll start adding some playgrounds and stuff in and around it as well. But, oh, it looks like there's a concert happening. Didn't even realize that. Yes, Nestor is playing. Um, so, uh... In today's episode, we're going to kind of build into this area a bit more, and then uh, maybe if time suggests it, we'll start adding residential out this way a bit more. Um, I also want to build a tram uh, tram line that kind of connects the, the city a bit more, but uh, we also have a subway system that kind of runs out this way that I would like to get elevated at some point. So we'll see. That's probably in a future video, but we'll see how that turns out because I don't want to kind of have the subway the tram doing the same thing so I'm going to need to plan that out a bit more um, so I thought that this area would be really perfect for like some of the smaller less dirty unique factories so uh, those are in this section and right here so some of the unique factories that we have uh, well for one if you're new to the game the importance of the unique factories are that that they make a lot of money for your city. Um, so you have to unlock them by leveling up your industry areas and then boom, get a lot of money. So uh, there's a few things we could get. Household plastic factory, that's a bit more of a dirty industry. Toy factories, that's a pretty cool building. Um, I like the brick on it. Uh, the printing press, same idea. Those could look really good together. Uh, yeah, the electronics factory is a bit too big. <laughs> I think that's a bit too big for the area. All right, sorry, that was the electronics factory. Um, yeah, not, not not wanting that. The car factory is massive. Not going there. Food factory. Oh, also massive. Okay, not going there. Modular house factory. Shipyard. Yeah, I don't think the shipyard's going here either. <laughs> um, all right, so when you're building unique industries, I think we're going to go with these two because I know that they're pretty small. Yeah, we could get them side by side um sorry what does this one take plastics and paper 
plastics, paper, and timber. Okay, so they even share resources too. Um, what I want to do is I'm just going to temporarily build one of them. So the toy factory. Because I want them facing the other way, but I, I need them to snap and I need to know where the road's going to go. So there's this one. Oh, and there's that one. Okay, we're going to place this one first. This is just temporary. Um, because there's lots of traffic that comes off of them. So uh, we need to make sure that uh, it doesn't get too bad. So we're going to use one of these um, asymmetrical roads. And we're just going to draw it out like that. So we're going to flip it around. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Um, just so that they have two ways out. And then we're going to set up the traffic lights here. Ah, darn. Come on. There we go. So we're going to give them dedicated turning lanes. And then we're also going to make it a yield sign. Yield signs work better than lights in this game. Uh, for some reason. Um, hold on a second. I didn't even build in the right spot. <laughs> Silly me. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to turn node snapping. Oh, not that one. Uh, and turn road guidelines off. There we go. So I want it right here. We're going to connect in. Perfect. We're going to continue it out. You guys are probably like, what is he doing? He just said he wanted to build it right alongside of that. <laughs> All right. So same thing. Boom. And then we're going to uh, just take this. And we're just going to flip it around. Perfect. I've, I figured this would be a good spot for uh, some of these like less like polluting factories. Um, because, uh, you know, it's, we're kind of in the suburbs a bit, still in the city. But it'd be good to get like a, such a, like, a large boom of jobs out this way. Plus, uh, this is a really noisy area. You can't put houses beside it because people are going to get mad. So you can put these. Um, all right, so the next one we were going to put in was the printing press. And that goes perfectly right there. Yeah, awesome. Um, so I think I'm just going to turn this around as well so that it's like that. Perfect. And then we are going to get just a normal road. How about an industrial road? And we're going to draw it behind here. And oh, helicopter in the way. And we're just going to continue it out just a bit right here. And then out to there, just for now, as we plant in the warehouses. So uh, when you're building unique factories, um, it shows what they need. So this one needs paper, plain timber, and plastics in order to build the toys. Uh, this one just needs paper and plastics to build the books or printed products. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to go to the warehouses and uh, build some warehouses. So um, this one's the smallest and then they progressively get larger. Like this one's a massive factory. So I like using these ones, but these ones also look really good. So um, we need three things, paper, plastic, and plain timber. Uh, I think the plain timber would look really good in this, uh, like uh, on this type of factory here. So I don't think anything's gonna really fit right there. Unfortunately, I guess we could move that, but I wonder if this one will fit. It does. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. And then we're just going to oh, just move it. I'm just going to drag this one. Oh, no, I need them to connect anyways. All right. And then we're going to just slightly maneuver this one as well. Perfect. All right. And then we're going to get this one. Uh, that one looked better there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, and then we'll get the last one here. Cool. And you know, we have some space open here, which is good. See, we don't want to add too, too much. Um, and then, uh, I don't like doing this too, too often, 
but um, we can get an, another factory out this way, or another warehouse out this way, uh, that is just this, like a small one. Oh. And I'm just going to use move it just to make them like push together a bit. Um, and this will be for the unique products of the factory. Um, so, you know, it, it works. Uh, I think we might be able just to swing that out just a touch. Yeah. All right. We'll fill it in with some trees and stuff afterwards. So now we need to add these into or make them all be their products. So this one we said we wanted to be uh, plain timber. Um, this one is going to be plastics. Oh, I keep clicking the wrong one. And then this one is going to be paper. And then, so, oh, helicopter in the way. Uh, so those are going to get filled in with um, uh, their goods from other factory or other warehouses and the industrial areas. And this one we're going to make unique factory products. So uh, they're going to, uh, when they're done their products, they're gonna add them into that. And that works pretty good. And you know what? I know I just rotated this around, but I think it's gonna be better if we do that. Um, and then dedicated, oh, oh, come on. Dedicated turning lanes. Okay, turning lanes, you know, that's already fine. All right, and I'm just gonna use move it just to make things a bit smoother. That's fine. Um, and you know what? I think it might look good like this. Cool, and then we might be able to get like a smaller uh, industrial factory out this way anyways. Ah, maybe not. Um, but let's add some trees in just to make it look a bit nicer. And then we'll finish off uh, this area. So let's get some single trees. Turn prop and tree anarchy on just for that tree. Always make sure you turn it back off because otherwise you'll start building over top of trees that exist. And that gets really annoying. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to kind of use these trees as like Kind of like a block off for the park. There we go. It's kind of like a fence in a way. And uh, I mean, we could get something else out this way, maybe, but I don't think there's any other like unique factories that would fit in this area. No, not really. Um, Maybe we can find something else at a later date, but uh, for now, we will just uh, fill it in with some trees. And we might as well just do it over here as well. Because it is a park, and we don't have any trees around here, so. Plus, it'll help make it look a bit nicer. I think trees also reduce uh, the noise of, um, uh, like noise pollution. So, oh, I think those are, all right, I'll leave them then. Um, all right, so this should uh, start filling up as we speed up the game, um, but there will be probably a bit of an influx of traffic um, just as this starts to get going. Um, but they're gonna take a while to get their products and you know what, we probably could have squeezed a parking lot in somewhere. Because there's not a lot of parking for the employees. And now I'm kind of wondering if that would have been a good idea. So let's, uh, oh. let's try to find that small parking garage that we like. Yeah, you know, like it could kind of fit there if we move things over a bit more. So let's do that and then we will you just move it and yeah I mean it does it does work and it kind of adds a reason for uh, this road to be out here as well hopefully people will use that because I think it looks pretty neat uh, it's not the most realistic parking 
garage, but uh, it fits. Oh, no. So I'm gonna use it. No, they're just using this turn to turn around. <laughs> ah, okay, see, so now some trucks are coming to drop stuff off. Um, so they're gonna try probably drop them off into the factories first. Um, and then, yeah, so this one still needs plastics. So it's gonna take a while to get. And it looks like this one just got its paper delivery. And looks like we are just waiting on plastic. So uh, that'll take a little while to get going because plastic has to come all the way from over here. And uh, the walnut oil field, which still needs a name, by the way, if, uh, if anyone wants to, to give it a go, um, it needs a lot more jobs. And I think we could probably boost up the plastic production as well. Yeah. So let's um let's do that because we're gonna need a lot of plastic. So that makes petroleum. That makes plastic. And this one isn't okay. So we'll do this, and we'll just add a third. And uh, hopefully that should be enough. I don't know why it doesn't want to snap together there, but yeah, that's not gonna work. Actually, it will if you just move it. Because this can move over. Let's open this. There we go. So what was this? This is plastic, so this should be filling up anyways. And then they're gonna draw from this probably. Alright, well. Um so that's that. It's gonna look really nice over here. You know, I think it's already kind of adding to the area a bit. And um, I'm just gonna take a quick look because we don't really have too much demand going and that is a little interesting. So, you know, residential happiness is really good. Commercial happiness could be better. So that means we need more outside connections and stuff. But uh, our unemployment is still 3%. So I think we could do with uh, growing the population a bit more um, before we start adding this stuff. Uh, so right now I'm just going to extend this road out a bit and you know what I think the grid should be broken up here yeah so there's not gonna be that many that many opportunities to get across the river here or the little canyon um, so we're gonna take this road and we are going to turn road guidelines back on Get a straight road. There we go. And um, I think we're gonna have to delete that a bit because I think this is the angle I want it to be. Yeah. And we're just going to do that, and we're gonna make an elevated road. Perfect. All right, and then we're just going to delete certain segments like this one and then we're gonna make this a ground level road oh. all right and then we're just going to slowly raise this up because I want to build a pathway underneath here if possible so this is just yeah I don't know if it's gonna work but you know what we could do is we could just lower the ground So let's select that and turn up the brush size just a bit. And actually we're going to select that one. We're going to lower it even more. There we go. Come on. No, I don't think that's going to be enough. So let's get it even lower. And we're going to need to destroy uh, these as well because they're kind of blocking our ability to dig a bit there we go so now we kind of have the ability to continue the nature walk um, and then we're just going to elevate this one and this one just a bit more all right so let's get back to the pathways here and I think we're using this one um, 
And you know what? I don't think we need this anymore. So I think we're just going to uh, build it underneath the bridge here. And then we'll stop uh, with the park for now. Oh, sorry. Actually, what I meant is we're just going to do this too. Um, perfect. And then we'll connect it up like that. Awesome. So now that there's lots of ways to get around, people should start using that once we build off of this. So now that we're back at ground level here, um, I'm just going to use just a basic road. And I want to kind of resume the grid, but now on this new angle that we're on. Because I want to see what's going to happen with the road layouts we already have. Because now this one will have to connect in like this and continue out as well. So we're going to kind of have like a break in the grid. And I think that's going to be pretty neat when, as we've started getting out into more of what would be the suburbs, but if this is an old industrial area, it still needs to kind of be, have a bit of a grid too. So it's going to be cool to see how that's going to work out. And we're also going to get an interchange right over here going to come across so I don't want to build anything too too much out this way because I'm planning on getting a road or a highway that comes out this way and then connects into the city uh, but that's nice that we got it like this now and now we can kind of fill in um, you know we don't even we might not even have to make it like a full grid either um, this might have to be dead-ended because of the river Hmm, then maybe this should be a full road. Like this. Like an avenue. I mean, that could be pretty neat. Bit of an interchange there. Yeah, alright, and then we're going to kind of make... Uh, we're going to take just one grid pattern off of this road, and then we are going to kind of follow the terrain a bit. So, uh, uh, that's too close to the interchange so, or the intersection. So let's just delete that one first. And then um, I think, yeah, let's go from here. Yeah, that works. Okay. And then we will continue out like that and in and then I think we're just going to do this yeah, and that's gonna be fine all right and then from here we're just going to use freeformed roads just to be able to kind of get across because I don't want I want to connect this up to the path system but I don't want uh, it to be too much of a grid and then this is going to be tricky as well don't want an intersection there, but it, the road should go right up to it. So, I mean, I could, but no, it's going to be too much traffic. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to uh, take a straight road in from, uh, yeah, let's see here. And we're going to connect it up like that. Yeah, that works with me. Um, yeah, a little fusion of the grids. <laughs> That's probably going to be fine, that intersection. And then we will get another one right here. And so the, now there's two ways in, and what we're going to do is we're going to take these asymmetrical roads, and we're just going to upgrade them right here like that, oh, so that there is multiple ways, so that they can like key up or queue up properly. All right, and we're just going to take move it, and we're just going to do this so that the pathway connects, so that people can walk there but not drive. Um, and we're just going to need to set up this intersection. Oh. Uh, we're just going to need to set up this intersection with dedicated turning lanes. All 
awesome. And we're going to need to get rid of the traffic lights as well. Ooh. Hey, look at that. The uh, Tower Nature Reserve leveled up. All right, we'll, uh, we have time to just go do that. We're just going to zone in really quickly uh, these areas. Um, so we're going to make this uh, yield. And so that this road can go straight through. All right, so a bit different of a pattern here. And I'm not, I'm not going to build out this way because we're going to need to get uh, the sports arena in next, uh, next time. Um, but uh, I think we're going to make a new, a new district out this way. Yeah, okay. So this will be a new district and the name is up for grabs. So if you are watching and you want to name this district, please leave a name suggestion down below. There's a lot of districts that uh, still need names. So if you're feeling creative today, go for it. Uh, we're just going to extend this district out. Um, might as well include this. Um, I don't think we're going to build anything out this way anyways, but... Um, and the amphitheater area is going to continue because uh, this is where we're going to build a stadium of some sort. All right. So we got the Alexander Keyes Amphitheater, we got the Holly District, and then this is New Lancaster. What the heck? Why isn't that filled in? <laughs> uh, okay, so. Um, if you have a new name for the Holly District, this is probably this will probably continue uh, out this way as well. Um, and then we'll save this for another district area. So I think for this area, I'm going to make it self-sufficient housing. It's going to be low density, so a bit more of a posh neighborhood, I guess. And I think we're going to make it um, organic and local produce. Um, yeah. And so we're going to need some residential. So we will start with that. So we'll fill in all the little areas here. I think I'm just going to use this tool to fill it in. Oh, no. Uh, maybe not because I'm going to need to be picky over here. Uh, yeah. This will need to be housing. That is good. All right. And then from here, let's do, we'll do this. And then we'll fill in from here. Okay. Uh, uh, so I'm trying to keep uh, housing off of the main uh, the main roads here um, because I'm not too sure what's going to be on them. And you know what? I think this is going to be fine with housing. Maybe not that close to the intersection. Um, all right. Uh, and then we're just going to connect up with pathways. So oh, we need side gates. And we should probably make sure that the park district is actually there. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm just going to take the park district off of this and we're going to continue it out this way all right so where do we need one of these oh in park area what i thought i just oh wow all right sorry house that you just built built up i'm sure it looks great but that's going to need to be a pathway and uh, you know what, I'm not even really set on having houses on that little bit. So we'll see what happens there. You know what, yeah, I'm a little, uh, little flustered, I guess. I'm gonna take houses off of this. <laughs> I'm trying to build right, right, right around here. <laughs> I keep saying no. Um, you know, I think those houses will be nice to keep there, but um, in here, but nowhere else. Out in park area, oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. Right there, and then we'll connect it up like so. And then we'll get one more uh, right here. Oh, come on. That we will connect up. 
All right, we're just going to need to raise this up a bit. And you know what? That's fine. I don't mind that it's clipping it just a bit. Um, so now people can easily walk uh, in between them. Um, and it's going to be kind of like a little bit of a nice little nature-y area. So that's going to level, uh, load up pretty nicely. I'm just going to get just a touch of commercial in right here. Um, just for now because it, it needs to level up. And then we're just going to add in... Uh, where is it? High school, elementary school. So we're, we're going to need an elementary school, an elementary school out this way, but uh, we'll do that in the next episode because I forgot we need to go to the Umber Tower Nature Reserve and make sure that that is going to level up to the next level. So we do need to add a bit more entertainment to get to level five. So this is our little urban nature reserve. Uh, I use the term urban because it's not like over here or something where it's in the middle of nowhere or over here. Uh, it's in the middle of the suburbs. Um, so we unlocked just a few things. Uh, I think we unlocked these hunting cabins or these shelt reindeer shelters. Oh, the fishing cabins, yeah. And hunting cabins. So I think we're just going to need to add these in just over here in the little nature area. Make it seem like it's more of like a or maybe like a pioneer village or something like that because that's not really the theme of the park we're going for uh, and then let's get a little cabin right here and how much did that add to us ah so we're getting up there um let's just add a few more maybe we can add like a lookout tower or something in there instead um oh we already have one there I mean, it'd be pretty neat to get one like right here or something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, and then let's get maybe a few more of these little smaller hunting cabins along the pathway here. And then hopefully that took us to the next level. It did. Nice. So we're just barely over, but that's fine. We met the criteria. Um, and we're just going to up the price just a bit. 20 bucks and now we just need to wait to that for that to level up and what are we going to get when that levels up the bouldering site all right well that's good for something else but uh, i really i'm really happy with the way this turned out i think that's really cool um but uh, anyways we're, we were working on this just we bleh, can't speak today uh we were working on this district so today we added these unique factories we added in this little community area and I think just to end it off, we are going to just fill in um, this area with some trees. Um, all right. A bit of a forest. Kind of adds to the, the look a bit. And you know what, now that we kind of have the park set, I think uh, just before we end, I'm just going to add in a few little things, like we're going to need a climbing frame for the kids. Right there. Why not? And then maybe let's get uh, one right here. And then... Oh, we leveled up twice. Wow. Uh, There's not really many spots for them. Maybe right there. And then we'll get a few gazebos around. That's, oh darn! I was really hoping that wasn't gonna, that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I guess we can get like a gazebo there. Um, nothing in there. It's more of like a walkthrough area. Why not? another one there why not uh, we haven't fixed this waterfront yet so I haven't finished off the park that in that direction um, that's more of a pathway cool that works with me and 
this is all elevated and stuff, so it's not going to really work. Uh, but over here we could get a uh, gazebo. Part two. Awesome, so that actually should level up the park pretty good. Where is uh, Myrtle Meadows? Oh yeah, that's going to level up really quickly. Um, all right, so uh, thank you very much for watching this episode, everyone. I hope you have a nice weekend. And uh, I think we did pretty good today. We added some unique factories, added a bit more of a little area, and people are actually parking here. Nice. Okay. Good to know. Um, but uh, I'll catch you in the next episode, everyone. Uh, happy weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Peace out.